सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सचिन यादव योर क्लास स्पीकर कोऑर्डिनेटर एंड टूडे वी ऑल आर गैदर्ड हेयर टू डिस्कस टू डू ए जी डी ऑन ए टॉपिक प्रोवाइडेड बाई अवर टी एंड पी सेल एंड द टॉपिक इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग कोज इफेक्ट एंड सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक यू गाइज टू स्टार्ट विद योर इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट Hello everyone. My name is Anshul, and I'm here as a part of group discussion. Hello everybody. My name is Sakshi, and I'm here to con to be a part of GD. Hello everyone. I'm Ravi. I'm here to be a part of group discussion. Hello everyone. My name is Shiv, and I am a part of this group. Take easy. Third year, I am here as a part of group discussion. i would like sakshi to start the group discussion by giving your points i would like to start my discussion by first of all defining what is global warming global warming is a gradual increase in earth's average temperature we have observed this change over the past one or two centuries although this is a very controversial topic but scientists have proved that the earth's temperature has increased so much with its average temperature yes, i agree yes. with you i agree with you sakshi earth temperature is increasing rapidly and it is due to the emission of carbon dioxide in the air as well as other greenhouse gases emission in the air the greenhouse gases trap the sun heat and our temperature changes naturally over time to time uh, there are some natural also and there are artificial man made reasons also uh, people are cutting trees for making their houses and this causes deforestation and deforestation result in less ability of tree to absorb carbon dioxide hence more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere resulting more trapping of sun heat i am agree with uh, padkar but this, there are several things that can done government should strictly follow policies where they define green zones where no business activities would ever be permitted companies should be forced to plant trees double in number that they are uprooting forest reserve reserves centuries national park etc should become the priority for everyone simply having meeting and conference would not be help but actually actions would be beneficial i agree with you Uh, Ravi, you continue. Okay. As uh, Sev say that uh, the there are a lot of uh, problems uh, with maybe man-made or uh, natural, and uh, there we have to solve them by identify their causes. and uh, we have to find their their causes and uh, we have to solve them by an undivided understanding so that uh, they can solve easily and uh, okay so i like to add some effects of global warming there are some major effects we are facing one of that extinction of some species and uh, its best example is polar bear about uh, it is the prediction that about ending of the century uh, they will be wiped out from this globe due to the global warming 
because the arctic is arctic ocean arctic uh, region is decreasing gradually and uh, its main reason is global warming the effect of global warming also includes spread of various diseases global the rise in temperature has made a hole in our ozone layer which 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 lets the ultraviolet rays to get into our earth's atmosphere which leads to various diseases skin skin disease and etc et it also possesses threats to the ecosystem it also uh, it also has led to the loss of natural habitat or most of the species and animals plants and animal species have lost their uh, habitat and they have to migrate to other places i agree with you all global warming is causing extreme weather winters are now more colder and summers are now more hotter it is also resulting in more natural disasters such as droughts floods uh, and millions of people and birds are forced to migrate to other area because these environment is not suitable for them and the melting of ice is increasing the sea level because of the higher temperature ice are ice is melting continuously and it is increasing the level of sea and sea water is also affecting the marine life uh, so more pollutants in the air are causing several diseases in people uh, in recent time we can see that covid is uh, covid time uh, natural um, air pollution cause several effect in patient so it also affect the people and environment as well as the animals and birds yes while the lockdown we have seen many news that we are seeing clear weather we are seeing the clear river so i think most of the humans are causing this global warming but and we can reduce this by planting more and more trees so that and we can balance out the co2 co2 in the environment and the atmosphere yes the man made uh, the man made causes of global warming or is also one of the reason is also industrialization more the industries are growing more the uh, environment is being polluted by the industrial wastes global warming is mostly caused by the uh, use of fossil fuels so we have to decrease the dependency on the on fossil fuels and look forward for the use of renewable sources of energy like wind energy or solar energy they are they are best uh, in the ways of uh, in, they are best for the use uh, if you talk about they will not create any type of uh, harmful effect on our environment so i mean to say that change depend our dependency on fossil fuels should be reduced we all know global warming is a serious issue but again can we actually do something about it it seems difficult we live in a world where industries are prospering people are driven by profits everyone owns a car people fly by plane etc such is a human life now that is inevitably we will destroy nature if we want to live a prosperous life so we are not caring our environment and our environment is degrading day by day and there is thing yes pragat i am agree with you but now we have need to move for new sources new renewable sources for for the dependent to finish the depend, uh, dependency for renewable sources like a fossil fuel coal it etc in past few days we uh, saw some news that india uh, india goes uh, electricity crisis load shedding etc and the, the over population is the main major effect for global warming because more than uh, people are are uses more needs more energy they they consume more energy recently there was a season is a summer season and we we continually continuously use uh, air conditioners refrigerators etc which emits the cfs gases which is more effective 
for global warming and increasing in temperature. The, uh, the, uh, the, this, the main cause of these gases are ozone depletion, which increase the UV light radiations, which are also increase the temperature. So we need to focus on these topics, uh, the, these causes, and we need to find out the solution of the, this situation. Exactly, yes. like. Yes, sir, I agree with you. I agree with you that we can use a, a transport vehicle, public vehicle, sorry, transport link, public vehicle, and uh, I think carpooling also. And uh, we can reduce the electricity and uh, limit our electricity so that it uh, reduces the carbon, carbon emissions because it is uh, made by using uh, fossil fuels and uh, other non-renewable things. And uh, we can use uh, uh, cloth bags for reducing pollution uh, rather than a poly bag. And uh, government have to ban emissions, uh, harmful emissions which are coming from industrial waste and uh, And uh, government have to encourage people to plant the trees so that uh, it can help to reduce the pollution and uh, stop uh, ban the deforestation. Yeah, if you see the mm, I, I, my my hometown example, if I give my hometown example, uh, basically in Del the Delhi government took an action of the old even system and while driving. So when the old even system was in the progress, we have seen quite uh, good, the air quality was very not very good, but in a good condition. So if we see like a, in a house, let's suppose four person are living and two are earning. So they both of them use different vehicle to um, go to their office or let's suppose their work. But if uh, they start uh, doing carpooling or let's suppose uh, uh, some, two or three neighbors start doing carpooling. They're only earlier, let's suppose there are three houses and they use two, two vehicle per house, then six cars in just for one reason, one person in one car. But if they do carpooling, there will be only one or two car on the roads. So this can also be a effective solution for the pollution or the CO2 emission by the cars. This can be reduced. I agree with you all and I think that we humans have made our mother earth sick and we have we ourselves have to heal it for the better. So we and we along with the government should implement this discuss solution here and we can plant more trees, we can use the three R's, recycle, reduce and reuse. By recycling the various things, we can reduce the amount of plastics we generate and we waste it. So I think this can be the most effective solution and we should ourselves start doing, uh, doing, uh, uh, doing our own steps to reduce global warming and what we can do. We should use public transports as Sachin said that if we uh, more people use the same transport, less pollution will be generated. As Sakshi said that we should start from ourselves first. So I believe in that, that uh, we need to start from ourselves first. And after that, we can say that everyone should do, do this or that. Aforestation is also a best way to reduce the global warming. And uh, the three R's, we reduce, recycle, and reuse. So we have to follow them also so that the uh, production cost also, production also decrease. and uh, the global warming also decreased. Thank you. Uh, due to industrial activities, the greenhouse gases trap increasing the temperature in the atmosphere. Already temperature in certain places have started exceeding 50 degrees Celsius. If this continued, it will make it difficult for us, plant, vegetation, etc. to survive. Therefore, making life survival very difficult. So, it is much easier to debate and discuss, but ultimately people and companies are profit driven. That's what keeps them motivated. And since saving the environment is neither a priority nor a profitable, 
it is a practically difficult to curve thing like global warming deforestation. So there are several things can be done. Government should strictly follow policies where they define green zones where no business activity will ever be permitted. Secondly, companies should be forced to plant tree double in number that are they are uprooting. And forest reserve, national park, etc., should be become priority for everyone. Uh, criminal cases against all those who break these rules can be purged. Simply having meeting and conference will not help, but actual action will be beneficial. That will truly help in saving the environment from things like global warming. That's all from my side. Yeah, we we live in Hisar. We all and we see the how the place is how much heat this we can observe in the summers. So, like the, in Hisar also in our university, there are so many plants, but still we can feel so much heat. So, like we have to find the solutions and all that. So, I think the first we can start with by planting. Uh, trees by starting with us only so planting trees in our house or in our neighbor and then we can use less uh, electricity on we can use uh, renewable re resources so like if we we are the new generation and we start using the renewable sources of energy the slowly slowly it will come in effect so we have to start with ourselves And that thank you for everyone for participating in this video.